Alright, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakadash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. You brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord, Yahweh, to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. So uh, this video will be entitled, uh, you know, Thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. And I'm going to start there, Sirach 2 and 1. My son, if thou, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Because I, I watched the uh, beloved brother, Spirit Wind Judah, and he was going into uh, the P.O.R.N. demon. And that whole uh, aspect, you know, because when you first come into this truth, you're, you're awoken to your heritage and your power you start to shed the things of the world certain things that you may have indulged in before you came into this knowledge you know it, it doesn't it doesn't benefit you anymore because you're not a servant to your flesh you know so the, the P-O-R-N demon, or, or the whole aspect of watching, uh, let's just call it, uh, I'm going to call it PIN for now, PIN, P-E-N. The, the whole point of watching PIN is, is to arouse yourself and to ultimately receive some type of uh, release. You know, because in this kingdom we are deprived we have been deprived for many years man so you know it, it's easily accessible and you think you know it's no harm but like the brother was going into it's 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 a losing battle man because every time you do it you end up draining your spirit and when your spirit is drained you feel it like man i feel like sh i feel like shit you know, hey, we, we all came out of the world. We all understand the things that, that you know, some, hey, some brothers dibbled and dabbled in that. You know, hey, I, I, I personally believe that the, that the pen demon is just as strong as the, the, the damn weed demon, man. The marijuana, smoking. Those two demons are, are very heavy. You know, and it takes a it takes a very strong spirit. It takes a lot of prayer and fasting to the Heavenly Father to get rid of that spirit. And if it's any brothers out there that's you know watching it, I highly advise you to, to stop. You know, fill, fill fill your your vessel with with things that's more beneficial, man. You know, because your your uh, your your seed is very important. And, and you arouse yourself to that point, you know, watching these certain things, you know, you're going to end up wanting to release your seed, and, and uh, shit, you, or you might end up just watching some off the wall stuff, and, and you know, the regular stuff don't, don't, don't get you where you, where you need to go, you know, you got to go above and beyond watching, <laughs> God knows what, man. So that pen demon is, is very strong. You, you gotta fight that demon, man. That's why I, I, I brought bringing this up, Rock Two and One. Prepare thy soul for temptation, because you're gonna be tempted. You're gonna have those thoughts, man. I should maybe just one more video, or maybe one more, you know, you know. Let me see one more category. But it's not worth it, man. You know, you gotta fight that. You gotta, hey, this is the, you. You are a spiritual warrior. You gotta fight. This is a battle for your soul, for your attention. And the more you battle it, the more you fight it, the stronger you get. It's just like exercising. 
right? When you first come to the gym, you're not strong. You gotta build up that muscle, man. You gotta build up that strength. But over time, the more you fail, the more you, you know, you lift weights, run, sprint, whatever it is, you're gonna increase. Your stamina is gonna increase. Your endurance is gonna increase. Your strength is gonna increase. Now, that doesn't mean you're not gonna fall. The scriptures say a righteous man falling seven times to get back up again. But your ultimate goal is to completely quit, man. You know? It's not like just, you know, getting a drink. You might be alcoholic and, and, and you, you know, you, you know, you fucking, you just get, you know, make a little small drink and you discipline and you, you stick to that just small drink because, you know, you want to, you know, want to get loose or whatever. Hey, because once that, once that, that damn uh, pain demon hop on you, man, it's, it's, it's hard to get it off. Next thing you know, you, you having dreams. <laughs> And that doesn't mean if you're having those dreams, you're wicked. It just, hey, sometimes those things happen. But you have to, hey, if, if you have that problem, pray to the Lord, man. And the brother was going this way. Lord willing, I can link his video in the description. Uh, he was going into certain stones that could help, you know, remove that energy off you. To make it easier. So when you go to sleep, you're not thinking about it. You're not dreaming about it. You know, because when you're trying to go to sleep, you're at your most vulnerable. You're at your most vulnerable when you are asleep. That's why certain, you know, you have, you might have certain dreams, certain nightmares, but you gotta call upon the Lord, man, to get those those damn spirits off you. Some brothers even said that they woke up paralyzed, man. You know, the paralysis demon. So. We, we as spiritual men, we understand that, that that type of activity is not beneficial and it, it's unsavory. You know, if, hey, if, if it's really that bad to the point where you want to deal with a woman, you know, go get you a woman. You know, me personally, hey, you know, I, I was a, a victim to that whole pen demon, you know, years ago. It's not fun, man. You know, that's when um, the whole MGTOW and uh, what is it now? Oh, uh, no, no, no PMO, or no fat. All those different movements, us, uh, uh, you know, pushing men to re re reserve their seed and, and to, to re re remain or uh, refrain from watching pin. <laughs> Me just saying pain is just hilarious But you know it's real man This is, this is, this is real life You know what you do In your spare time It, 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 it manifests in your life So you want to You want to add healthy things Into your life man like exercise You know studying in the scriptures You know uh, so, Socializing with, with the brotherhood When you When you incorporate healthy eating habits and, and, and you know uh, things of that nature it starts to manifest in your life you know your skin, your skin starts to glow you have this aura up about you you know people people can feel your aura man they know when you're when you're angry they know when you're you're not feeling the same right you when you're more closed off like, I notice whenever I'm at the plantation, whenever I just throw my little headphones in and, and, and my, my business, everybody want to ask me questions. Hey, what's going on with this? What's going on with that? Or, uh, what's wrong with you? You know, why you acting different today? Because they want you to, they want you to, you know, interact with them. They want you to be present. Because your aura, man, it's your aura, it's your energy. And when you out there and you throwing energy everywhere, giving people attention, that's when they falling back. They're like, oh, man, this nigga irritating. You know? So as men of the Lord, we must refrain ourselves from, from those type of activities, man. If you if you got hey look, if you if you up at night. You having a hard time going to sleep 
if you got that on your mind, hey man, do some push-ups, man. Do some, do some, uh, some, some body weight squats. You know, some jumping jacks. Get your blood pumping through, you know, through throughout your whole body. That way, you can kind of like burn off some of that energy, man, because that's all it is, sexual energy. But when you learn how to, you know, discipline yourself and 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 hold hold that back. Hey, man, hey, it opens up so many more doors, you know. So don't look, don't allow the pen demon to, to hold you down, man. This is this is mainly for like newer brothers coming in, or hey, even even maybe a brother that that you might be in this thing for a couple months, six months, eight months, and and you've been battling battling this on ongoing pen demon, you know. Whoever may need to hear it. Hey, the message is out there. Now, the scriptures say, all things are lawful unto me, uh, but all things are not expedient. It's not unlawful to, to watch that. You know, ultimately, um, it's not healthy, man. Because you might be, you might just be looking at, you know, a little chick or whatever, but she's, she's, she's had a, a, a man in her life. We all know this. So, Hey, you're looking upon another man's woman. Think about it like that. That way you can refrain. Like, man, I, I, you can't, I can't be watching this. You know? So, hey, it's, it's, about, it's about discipline. And discipline takes endurance. Endurance takes patience. Self-control, man. When you have that self-control, hey, that's power, man. You know, it's, it's it's powerful to uh, to be able to turn down a woman when she when she uh, she press upon you. You know, she giving you oh, oh yeah yeah what well, you know what I'm saying trying to get all up on you and, she, and 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 you turn her down because you you either know you know what I'm saying she wicked or whatever she might just not be your type but you know what I'm saying hey when you have that self control man it it, it shows. People know that. And then they get to asking questions. Hey, would you ever do this? Would you ever do that? And all of these different types. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, people in the world are weird, man. We have a completely different mindset and spirit about us because the Heavenly Father put that on us. You know, we're, 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 we're trying to obtain a, 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 a higher mind, a, heaven, a heavenly thought process, man. Not, not, not this worldly uh, garbage you know so a hey, pen is of the world man so remain spiritual walk in the spirit you know and like i say earlier man if you if you having a problem with it pray into the to the heavenly father in the name of yahweh shine he's gonna he's gonna answer your prayer man he said all things that you ask in my name that will i do that the father may be glorified you see so lord willingness is edifying um so lucky I didn't bring out that many precepts, but I just wanted to uh, go in, get, go into that real fast. You know, Lord willing, this was uh, uh, you know exhorting man. The Wadi Yahabashimi Al Shai Shalom.